Hello everyone, this is Mike Sangvi from feelamon.com and I'm back with another IBM Cognos Framework Manager tutorial video and in this video we will learn how to install IBM Cognos Framework Manager in our machine. For this video we are going to refer this blog post. The blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. First question, what is IBM Cognos Framework Manager? IBM Cognos Framework Manager is a Windows based GUI tool used for data modeling. It is normally used by developer or business user for data modeling. It is a client application for creating data modules and publish the final packages on IBM Cognos connection. So next question where we need to install IBM Cognos Framework Manager. So as we discussed it is a client tool so it must be available on all the client machines. So client may be a developer tester or a business user okay now what is the requirement to install IBM Cognos framework manager for this I'm going to open IBM Cognos architecture diagram for personal group or online training contact us okay so this is the IBM Cognos architecture diagram and as we discussed framework manager must be available on all client machines okay whenever a client use framework manager and tender request then the request is forwarded to web server via ibm cognos via gateway ibm cognos via gateway then forward this request to application server on application server the request is processed and if any database related information is required application server get the required data from the database and send all the information back to the end user so for framework manager we must need to install web server application server and database server after installation of IBM Cognos Framework Manager, we must need to provide the URL for Gateway and Dispatcher. You need to first find out the Gateway URI or Dispatcher URI. You can find, you can request the Gateway URI or Dispatcher URI from the IBM Cognos admin. This video is only for installing Framework Manager. I am not going to demonstrate how to install a web server how to install an application server and how to install a database server okay if you are looking for the installation step for web server application server or database server you can refer this video in this video we explain how to install ibm cognos bi on a single machine or multiple machine so let me again switch back to my blog post so this is the prerequisite you must need to install web server application server and database server Next is the user privileges. If you are working on an office system, then normally you don't have admin privileges. All the installation are done by admin team. Now this is very important. Any admin person is going to install framework manager, then maybe you are not able to use it. Why? Normally all the installation are done in program files. Program files is a protected folder. If any admin person is going to install framework manager in program files, then you are not able to edit config file available in the IBM Cognos Framework Manager installation directory. To edit a config file, you require admin privileges. So without admin privileges, you are not able to use Framework Manager? The answer is no. You can use it. To resolve the privileges related issue, you must need to install Framework Manager outside the program file. So maybe if you have multiple drives, then you can install framework manager in let's say d drive or any other drive if you don't have d drive you have a single drive then you can install framework manager in c any random folder so let's say uh, i want to install framework manager so i can install framework manager in c ibm cognos fm so this is not a program file folder or this folder is not available inside the program file folder so i can edit the config file very easily so this is one important thing you need to remember while you are installing IBM Cognos Framework Manager in your machine. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to install Framework Manager in my this Windows 10 machine. For me, I have admin privileges so I can install it inside program file, but I'm not going to install it in program file folder. 
So let me open my installation directory. This is the Cognos 10 installation directory. Normally IBM provide tor.gz file. You need to first extract the file using WinRAR or 7-zip. After extracting the installation file, you can file the you can find the setup inside Win32 and is setup.exe. Double click on this to launch the IBM Cognos Framework Manager installation. If user account control asks for the permission, click on yes. So this is IBM Cognos Framework Manager Welcome Wizard. The first thing we need to select the language. English is fine for me, so I'm going to I'm not going to change anything here. If you want to select any other language, feel free to select. Click on next button, accept the license agreement, click on I agree and then click on next. Okay, now the installation location. I can select C drive. Uh, I can replace this program file. I can install Framework Manager in C, IBM Cognos and C10. Or I can select any other directory. So let me type D and let me change this to instead of uh, IBM, I am going to say FM, Cognos and C10. Let me click on next. Okay, now the component selection, the Framework Manager, it is required and second is map manager if you required map manager install it and if you don't want to use map manager you can uncheck it okay i want both the thing so i'm going to select everything and then i'm going to click on next next is the shortcut folder whatever value you are going to provide here you can see the same value here on start menu and then i here okay so if I'm going to type IBM Cognos 10 FM, then after the installation, installer is going to create a shortcut folder with name IBM Cognos 10 FM. Okay, so let me, I'm fine with this IBM Cognos 10 FM. I'm going to click on next. Okay, so this is the installation summary. Selected components, we selected everything. Uh, local disk space, this is the disk information, this is the installation location, and this is the shortcut folder. Okay, and this is the error log location. If you are fine with this summary, click on next to start the installation step, installation process. This is the information dialog for other language documentation. I don't want to install any other language documentation, so I'm going to click on OK. And finally, the IBM Cognos Framework Manager installation is completed successfully. If anything is failed for you, you can check the transfer log or error log for the further information. Okay, and I'm not going to check this checkbox, start the IBM Cognos configuration because I want to first, because I want to launch the Framework Manager first. So let me click on finish to close the IBM Cognos Framework Manager installation wizard. Okay, and let me close this directory, it is no longer required. Next. We are going to launch IBM Cognos Framework Manager. Okay, for this you need to click on the start menu and then you can find the IBM Cognos Framework Manager installation in the shortcut folder. The shortcut folder name for me is IBM Cognos 10 FM. So I'm going to click on I and then I'm going to select IBM Cognos 10 FM. New. Okay, so let me click on this and then I'm going to click on IBM Cognos Framework Manager. Click on new. So this is IBM Framework Manager. Now I'm going to create a new project. Okay, we are not going to perform any configuration yet. I'm going to start with a new project. So let me, uh, I don't want to change anything. Let me click on OK. Framework Manager is right now creating the project. And here Framework Manager is accessing the web server. Okay. So without the proper configuration, we are not able to access Framework Manager. If you are going to click on close, you can launch the Framework Manager, but you are not able to do anything. Okay, so this is the metadata wizard. Again, if I'm going to click on next, again, we are not able to retrieve the available data sources. Okay, so let me again click on close. Our framework manager is launched, but we are not able to collect the, we are not able to retrieve the useful information from IBM Cognos services. So let me close this. Uh, no, I don't want to change anything. I'm going to launch IBM Cognos configuration. Okay, so I'm going to select I. And if you have multiple folders, then you must need to 
expand the IBM Cognos 10 FM shortcut folder. Okay, and then you want to select IBM Cognos configuration. If user account controller asks for your permission, click on yes button. Okay, now we need to click on this environment, and here we need to provide the gateway URI and dispatcher URI. Okay, so let's only change the URI for gateway first. So gateway URI is uh, for me. It's okay. So this is the gateway URI for me. Oh, I'm really sorry. This is the issue for the port. So let me confirm the port number. So I'm going to try with uh, colon 80 first. Yes, it's a uh, colon 80. So I'm going to simply type colon. 80 and then enter now the gateway URI is correct I'm going to save this configuration file so everything is fine right now so let me click on close and let's try to open framework manager one more time and uh, let me try to create another project Pro new project 3 click on ok and now our gateway URI related issue is resolved this is language so let me click on ok i am going to click on data source and this is now all the available data sources now let me click on my tutorial i am going to click on next and then i am going to let's say let me select the random tables import and let me click on finish finally i am going to create a new package click on next fine with this click on finish yes i want to publish this fm package let's publish it on public folder click on next publish everything is fine click on finish and our fm package is now published successfully so let's see this is our new package with our gateway uri we are able to publish our fm package now let me check okay so for us this uh, url is also working because localhost and vlm is the same okay so let me try to change it and let's save this and i hope the cryptographic information cannot be encrypted do you do you want to save the configuration as a plain text let me close this let me close it let me launch framework manager one more time and this time again i'm going to create a new fm package so create a new project this time it's four okay so first thing so we are able to connect the gateway we are able to access the web server but right now we are not able to use the dispatcher to retrieve the database source okay so that's why without a proper gateway and dispatcher uri you are not able to use framework manager now let me answer again why the project number three is successfully created because my local host and vlamon host name is pointing to the same machine and the machine is this machine okay so if i'm going to if i try to visit this url okay and let me replace the local host with vlamon we are able to get the same result okay so that's why previously our dispatcher uri is also correct okay so that's why for the second so for the second test we are for the second test our cryptographic information is generated successfully and we are successfully able to create the fm package we are successfully able to publish it on ibm cognos connection so again for using framework manager you must require a working gateway server gateway uri and dispatcher uri okay so this is the installation step for ibm Cognos framework manager in client machine so this is the installation step for ibm Cognos framework manager in client machine in our next video we are going to learn about how to create a new framework manager project and also we are going to learn the user interface I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click on like, subscribe, share it with everyone, provide your feedback and see you all in next IBM Cognos Framework Manager tutorial video. Some important URLs.